I would like to now introduce your speaker of today, Chris Lemon. Chris Lemon is a partner in McIntyre and Lemon PLLC in Washington, D.C. He specializes in financial services law, particularly related to marketing of consumer financial products and services. Privacy law, insurance law, and regulation of financial institutions by the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau. Chris, welcome to the program. We are now ready to begin. Hello, everyone. Uh, in addition to the slides, access to the slides, you should also have accessed a handout titled Escrow Accounts, General Requirements and Requirements for Higher Price Mortgage Loans. Uh, if you don't have that, uh, please let us know uh, in the chat function and give us an email address and we will send that to you. Yeah. Uh, I will refer to it periodically. The handout is pretty detailed with respect to the subject matter today, um, but I'm also going to be talking about a little bit of additional information uh, as we go through that's not in that document. We'll talk about two things today. Uh, it's all about escrow accounts um, under the, uh, uh, with respect to either the uh, Regulation X, which is the Real Estate Settlement Procedures Act regulations, or Regulation Z, which implements the Truth in Lending Act. Uh, we'll start with Reg X and general escrow account requirements, what they apply to uh, and how you apply those. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, that's covered in the first uh, couple pages of the handout. The second, which we'll spend more time on, are escrow requirements for higher price mortgage loans. <clears throat> and that discussion begins at page three of the handout. With respect to general requirements for, uh, for escrow accounts, uh, here are the topics we're going to hit. Uh, the background, we'll talk about limits on charges with respect to escrow accounts, uh, the requirement that uh, you do an escrow account analysis, uh, the providing of two different types of escrow account statements, servicing transfers, what you do then with respect to an escrow account, what your options are, uh, disbursement requirements uh, for a creditor from an escrow account to ensure that uh, disbursements are timely made, and then also, also escrow refunds. These rules have been in effect for some time. There really hasn't been any revisions to these except when we get over uh, 